it is said that the mark of a great man is not just in what he did on earth, but what he is remembered for. Touching on death, the Quran says, To Allah we belong, and to him is our return. Already, ladies and gentlemen, your good works in education, health, and agriculture are there for all to see. Let me therefore urge you to use the Hilifat Centenary celebrations to ask the Almighty Allah to shower his abundant spiritual and material blessings for the progress of the Ahmadiyya community and the prosperity of Ghana. He was a politician, quantity surveyor, civil engineer, contractor, and an entrepreneur. May he, his soul rest in perfect peace. May he be with the blessed ones. May Allah have mercy on him May he be with the uh, Lord's best uh, people. Indeed, I knew the late Alaji Aliu uh, far back at as uh, 1962 when he was at Tamasco. I was also at a place called Al uh, Alasan Hotel. It's a popular spot in town, and. Uh, he, together with others, used to come to me. That is where we pick our friendship. Until he left Damasco and gained admission to uh, Tech in 1967. And uh, whilst he gained that admission, he informed me that uh, he was fortunate to be admitted to uh, tech. I was so happy. So as a, a friend, what I did to him was to organize a get-together. Then we held that get-together. And after that get-together, when he was due for uh, Kumasi, whatever I could help him to get to Kumasi, I did it. And uh, this is how we got to know ourselves. And for God's sake, the man kept his word. Indeed, the late Al Haji Ali Mahama was a staunch Muslim. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. During the hundred years of its existence, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has made a lot of progress by propagating the Islamic message of peace and justice throughout the world. You remember we just had the um, Eid festival, and you know every year he does it uh, with the people here. He spends, you know, the uh, period here organize some um, dinner or what we have to say, party sort of, for everybody, whether you are in his party, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a northerner or not, he does that here at where he is buried. And, um, you know, this is even the time that we do a lot of sacrifices with this, our animals, sheep. When this year um, came for the sacrifice. A lot of people got to realize that Aliu is not actually uh, with us again because he usually would uh, pack sheep in this uh, tipa truck that you are seeing, uh, distributing it all over the region to you know his friends, relatives, and other opinion leaders in this region. In fact, this year, that activity actually could not go on because of the uh, absence of uh, Aliu Mahama. You know, the sacrifices, uh, I'm sure they would, people would have done that uh, on their own. But actually, I was here when Sam even came to his son here. Actually, 
uh, trying to see whether there was a way that he could assist them by. He did his best, uh, but not to the quantum at, uh, to which uh, Elijah Ali Umama has been doing it. In fact, the party actually was also absent, but his son did very well. He organized a mini one. Yeah, at where uh, the late Aliou's mother is currently living. In fact, we had our Salah party there. So I would actually say that a lot of people have actually seen the absence of Elijah Aliou Mama and the relevance of Elijah Aliou Mama uh, as, as a northerner, a Muslim, and a politician. He sought the new patriotic party's nomination for the 2008 presidential election, but was futile, having obtained only 6% of the total vote cast. He retired from politics after his tenure as the vice president of the Republic of Ghana. Would you say that he led a full life, that he, he finished his mission? Would you say that? I cannot say he finished. The Lord knows what he was on this earth for. There will not be a single minute for any other human being. What is allocated to you, the moment you exhaust it, you will leave this earth. That is how a Muslim thinks of it. Once the food that is allocated to you is exhausted, the air, the water, everything that is exhausted, you have nothing to stay on earth for this thing. You, once the food is there, you are alive. But just like we have everything with reason, so is it that on this earth you are going to spend 5,000, 20,000, 50,000 days. You exhaust it, then and you, you don't need to live on earth. So we thank God that in we the Muslim, any other time that one dies, we assume that that is the end of his life. He has gone to the, to, to the Creator, and that may he rest in perfect peace. That is how we look at it. We were happy with him, but uh, you know, when the politics and uh, they, they appointed him as a vice, we know we could not meet because sometimes he used to come down for us to chat. He was having, uh, one of our brother was his, uh, a good friend, uh, our brother Lit Rasta. Anytime he felt like laughing small, he would just come down to his office and, and then call us. And then uh, uh, there was one of his uh, brother, uh, uh, friend who called Agaja. So Agaja and then Rasta used to display here for to make just some fun. Mm. And then we're happy. But you remember, Nanado wanted to even name the Tamas Sports Stadium after the late Elijah Aliuma. Unfortunately, things did not turn out well. We're just hoping that uh, maybe this current government would, 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 would see sense in that vision and actually name the place after Elijah Aliuma. And then after that, we will now move to his residence where he was laid uh, to rest. And uh, there will be a final prayer there. I'm sure the Yindi people will join us, the Accra people will come, and the Tamale people will come. Uh, for the final prayers to be said in his memory at where he was buried. There were rumors of his death on the 14th of November 2012 at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital but the story was quickly denied on the same day by his family and hospital authorities. We hope, we are sure he will pull through this current situation. All right, so exactly when was the last time you checked on him? You know, because we, we are getting the information from close family sources. Exactly when was the last time you checked on him? I was in the ward about five minutes ago and I saw him. Is alive. Uh, there is no, there is no truth to what you hear on the media currently. If his condition is critical, what exactly is his? Con what, what, what is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? Well, I, I will leave it at uh, that uh, point. Uh, I don't. We will not devote um, our patient condition to the public. Uh, that is between the doctors and the, the family.
Okay, um, if someone is on life support, what does it mean? Um, being on life support means you, um, we, it, it's, it's, it's a, a situation which is uh, a bit difficult to explain, but we have equipment that can keep you um, breathing and when your body takes over, then um, we we take the um, the equipment off. But yes, um, we can. We have the equipment that supports an individual when who has had uh, who is critically ill, and uh, that is what we are doing. So it means that uh, his, he has breathing problem at the moment. Yes, he has breathing problem, and that is being taken care of. Um, why would someone want to rumor that uh, the former vice president is dead when he is not dead? That, that's why I'm, I'm very surprised at that because uh, I, don't, I don't expect anyone to go out with such a rumor. Uh, but you know in Ghana, um, a lot of these rumors have gone around before and this is why I'm here with you so that I will inform all Ghanaians that uh, the former vice president is still alive and we are working very hard to make sure that we get over this difficult stage. Um, uh, thank you. So it means that he is not dead? He's not dead. The He's very former vice president is not dead. The former vice president is alive. Thank you very much. He died at the same hospital on the 16th of November 2012 at age 66. Reports say his death was due to a heart-related condition and complications from a stroke. Family of Al Haj Ali Umahama, the former vice president of Ghana. Uh, we have revised uh, the funeral arrangement that we earlier came out with. The family sat down today after a long meeting and they have finally came to a consensus on where His Excellency will be buried. We held a meeting with the government this afternoon at the castle and the government has agreed to the plan that the family had scheduled for the burial of His Excellency Al Haji Ali Umahamu. His Excellency will be buried tomorrow at his private residence in Tamale, Kalpohene Estate. You will, you will understand that this is a very novel situation. This is the first time that a Muslim vice president has passed and therefore the arrangements are a little different. What is happening tomorrow is the burial process. And as Nasiru has so ably put it, it will begin at the Independence Square and end by half past 11, so that the body will be flown home to Tamale for burial. Now, funeral rites will take place, but will be announced later by the family. Uh, we all are very proud of the way the family have carried themselves. This is a statesman, Alaji Ali Mahama was well loved by this nation it happened so suddenly and yet the family has brought everybody together in order to be able to arrange his burial so that effectively we meet all the normal muslim rights and yet be able to operate in the national framework befitting a leader of a status How do we remember the dead? Uh, the, ever since he died, up till to date, we have not stopped praying for him. No any other day that I pray, just like my father who died 56 years ago, there's no day I sit without praying for him. Just like my mother who died 14 years ago, no any other day do I sit without praying for her. So that is how the Muslim world is. We just don't see somebody or remember somebody and pray. We pray continuously, continuously, continuously. That is how it is. So any other day, 
I pray for him, I pray for his family, I pray for the unity within the family, and I pray that his wife, who is left lonely, will be consoled by the Almighty, and whose children are left to the outside world will also be taken care by the Almighty. This is how I am. This is how I know him. And this is how I pray for him. One year of his demise, it is a get together to say more prayers to him as we used to do. For me, just like the son, just like the mother, just like the wife, they ceaseless pray. Any other day that they pray, five times a day, when you pray, you mention, may Allah have sympathy for this man, may Allah have It is just continuously. So that is what we do. I thank Allah, I'm alive, and it, Allah knows why I'm alive. So all those I know, all those I am associated to, I pray for them. I remember them in my prayers. That is how it should be. Aliu absence is actually a, big, a very big blow, especially to some of us who were actually with him because um, he was our political mentor, everything. And his absence has actually created a vacuum. And not only to me, a lot of people as well in the region. Nobody in Northern Region who can just talk something about Liu Muhammad. He was so superior, so, so, so superior that you can't just talk about Ali Muhammad. This year, because it's no more in, people suffered. Every year, if you could buy more than 100 ships, dash people to, uh, during the cellar. But this year, people are suffering because it's no more. That is why I say we can't talk about Ali Muhammad. We can't talk. He was a great man in Northern Region. We have lost a great man in Northern Region. So we are still praying to see whether we can get somebody like Ali Muhammad. Did we honor him enough? Did we honor him? We honor him. And we still honor him. Yes. We in Northern we still honor Ali Muhammad. Through, to France speaking, we have lost a great man. We have lost a statesman. Yes. People of Northern Region are still thinking how we can get somebody like Ali Muhammad. We are at Nima, a very well-known Islamic community in Ghana. We just want to find out from the people what they, their fondest memory of the late vice president are. <laughs> Alhaji Muhammad Idris ko mungo di mala sima muntare ya ya ci demu bam gani le fin siba mun ye be si ken akins ya ci kuma ati ya ati har ya kare ati ya zauna ya wiyate wurin Allah Allah ya fis Allah sasa aljanna mu ma le bam karsim makeu Allahu makfur laha Allahu makfur lahu Allahu marhamu Allahumma ighfir lahu wa Allahumma arhamhu Allahumma ighfir lahu wa Allahumma arhamhu jahiluhu Allahu ahadu Allahu as-samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad Allah sayafuta Allah sadal janna bi rudaut umma Allah bam karsil lab sallu ala nabi al-karim Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita rahimta barik ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidun majid Assalamu alaikum. Nagode. Um, you just heard Malamal Hassan. He, he prayed for the soul of our departed vice president, um, wishing him peace on this um, journey that no one can decide when he or she will embark on. Sallu ala nabiyul karim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin wa raham Muhammadin wa ali Muhammadin. Kama salaita wa rahimta wa barakta la Ibrahim wa la ala Ibrahim apil alamina inna ka hamidin magidin. Alaji ali mama Muhammadin yazo aiching aiching alihir. Ya muna muga aniya tuka. Ya aiching aiching alihir. Ba muga ni lefi nse ba. Yaw Allah ni ya kiras. Mukuma unna muya ke. Hakaza Mutipia. She in the Tega, Allah is the country, Allah Ramses, 
mukuma Allah ceutata namu bayan nasu Allah ceutata namu bayan nasu akara fatiha bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahmanir rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in idna siratal mustaqim siratal ladina an'amta alaihim ghairil maghdubi alaihim walad dhalin sallu ala nabiyyil karim allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ali sayyidina muhammad wa sallim kama sallaita wa rahimta wa barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidun majid na go de alhaji this only tells you how religious the people of this community are they they are in constant prayer for the soul of the departed we also have um, a young man here to also tell us um, something assalamu alaikum jama'a muslimai ya kamata mu nuna bakin ciki da rasuwa alhaji ali muhammad allah ji kanshi allah ramashe shi allah sai ya futa Allah samu ma na mu kai mu cika da ima cikin al'umma annan Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Alhaji Ali muslimi ne cika ke don na shiye da masallaci ba dai ba ba biyu ranan Juma'a lokacin da yake kan shugabanci yana zuwa ya tsaya a yi sallan Juma'a da shi na shiye da shi Niman ga na shiye da shi Santra Max na shiye da shi eh eh ya sunan yawo Max na shiye da su suna yana sallan Juma'a su saboda shi cikakken muslimi ne sa'annan mu musulma ya kamata mu nuna farin mu yi farin ciki da Allah ya kawo muna Alhaji Ali Muhammad ya zama vice president kuma muna rokon Allah Allah ya kara kawo muna musulmin da zai zama vice president har mu zo mu samu ya zama president kuma Allah ya kawo irin irin su Allah na roke ka dukkan musulman da suke gane ya kamata mu nuna farin ciki kowane lokaci mu fito tsayin daka mu samu mutum musulmin da zai zama shugaban kasa mu ma mu iya muna tafiyar da komi kan batun shugabanci kuma yau duniyan gana gana mun ga da muke ciki in an ce wani ya fito yayi wani abin da bai da kyau mu fefe za a zo a zabi wo mu je mu yi fadan da bai da amfani mu mun tura wani ya je ya samu shugabanci amma yau ya zo ya kai ya kamata mu nuna farin ciki mu ma mu iya mu zama manya ya kamata mu concentrate kan wannan abun nan mu ma mu samu manya cikin musulmai ya Allah mun roke ka Allah kara dauka ka addini musulunci bisa kan kafirci Allah kara dauka addini musulunci bisa kan kafirci Allah biya muna bukatun mu Allah ka sa gana a samu ci gaba ya fi karfin haka dukkan shugaban da zai zo da zai kawo ci gaban gana ni ban zabe ba ni ban zabe ba ni ban zabe ba dukkan shugaban da zai zo ya kawo ci gaban gana ko wane ne Allah kawo shi ko wane ne Allah ya kawo shi sa'annan dukkan shugaban da yake son nema a zabe shi ya kamata ya fito ya promise mu wani abin da gobe ko da bai ci ba ko da ya ci in ya ce muna in bai yi ba muna mu tambaye shi amma yau in ka fito ka ce muna kana neman shugaban shi ya kamata ka promise mu wani abu in kuma ka promise ya kamata mu ga abun nan amma ka ba ka ka zauna ka ce muna mu zabe ka ba ka promise mu ko ba ba hujja ba mu yi mu zabi amma kowa yake na man shugabanci ni na ce ko wane ne in dai ya zo yayi shugabanci ganan ga ya kawo muna alheri Allah ya kawo shi ko wani party ne NDC ne o PNC ne o CPP ne o ko wane ne MPP ne o ko wane ne Allah ya kawo kuma za ku zo ku zo ku promise mu abun da ya kamata za ku zo ku muna in kun promise mu mu mun zabe mu ba ku kuma mu musulmai na nima ga ya kamata mu sa hankali me muke nema a muna mu gwada abun da ya kamata amma kan mu zo wai mu muna ne wai don mu muna son party wai don mu muna son party yasa don mu muna son party yasa ko me shi me promise mu wani abba she mu ta bi an bar yin wannan ya kamata mu concentrate me ake nema ya kamata ci gaban nan ko wane ne zo zo mu ci gaban mu muke so ko wane ne in don ina son party ga yau party ga zo ya ce na in zabe shi kuma na zabe shi ina son shi ya kamata yi abu mai kyau in dai bai abu mai kyau ba ya kamata gudun bar shi
Not good day. Fine. Not good day. Um, you just had this young man. He he first recounted how um, frequent um, the late vice president used to attend the mosque. He also told us that he used to go to the Nyaho uh, Mosque and also to the Central Mosque. He also took the opportunity to encourage people of this community to maintain law and order. He also bemoaned the fact that the the, the community has been seen as um, people from the community. In fact, has been have been seen as people who who, who are usually used for violent acts. And he encouraged the youth to stay strong and and not to use a party politics as 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 a tool um, to be violent.
Kadın Yeah, yeah. Go towards the gate. Go and zoom in inside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, you can go towards the gate. Let's go. funeral was held at the Independence Square, after which he was flown to Tamale for final funeral rites and burial. During the state funeral, Joy News brought you exclusive footage from his private residence in Tamale. residence of former Vice President Alaji Ali Mahama. As I speak with you now, his grave is being dug right here. As you can see in your shot, this is the grave. I have with me a member of the uh, funeral planning committee. So we would like to, his name is Sule Salifu. We would like for him to tell us something about what's happening here. Hello. Uh, in fact, uh, the, as you can see, the grave, grave is being dug. And uh, security presence here is massive uh, the regional coordinating council is very supportive the family is cooperating with the relevant institutions for a befitting barrier for the late former vice president Elijah Ali Muhammad. No, so tell us we've seen I seen uh, this very round and small hole tell us how it works are we going to have him stand in there or how is it going to be like <laughs> no in fact uh, this is what they will do but they will have to open the inside they will dig inside where he can comfortably be laid to rest. Okay, so do, do we have an idea? Of how, is it going to be the normal six feet, or how is it going to be? 
I, can, I don't know exactly the, the fit it would be, but it is going to be the acceptable, uh, you know, uh, uh, digging that we, we've always had as Muslims. Now, so now you have very, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are very close to the family. Now, yesterday we heard, yesterday we, yesterday we heard that uh, there was a grave that has been done, but today we see another one. How do you explain that to the audience? In, in fact, uh, according to our elders, that in the bone custom, it is the women who are buried behind the house, but the man is buried in front, and this is the front view of the house, and that is why the former vice president's grave is being dug in front of the house. You, you must be overcome with emotions because everything has been so quickly and so sudden, and of course, by Muslim tradition, we have to bury him quite quickly. How does that make you feel as a, a member of the committee? Certainly, we are disturbed, but what can we do? The Almighty has called him. Alaji knew very well that certainly one day he will pass off, and that is what we are experiencing today. Uh, what I can say is that Aliu, I would describe him, was a people's man. He has a lot of young people, as you can see, a lot of elderly people who can easily come together and take a decision and, and, and bring results. And that's why you are seeing that everywhere around the house, activities are going on and you know people are working seriously to have him buried with a befitting burial. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Sule. World meetings, especially with the press. This particular yeah, this, this particular place. You know, you know during, the, during the Salah, mm -hmm. the last Salah we had, this was where he was seated. He was seated here very quietly and attending to guests. Anybody who comes here, he will call. He will call you. To, oh, come and give give him meat and drinks. He sat here for for more than God knows how long, you know, not knowing that this was where he will, we were going to rest. Just arrange the chairs here. I want to meet the press here. He will sit here. You know how he was very friendly, especially to to you people, yes. press, very friendly. You know. And you know, we're very grateful to him for his life. He Alaji, you can't talk so much about him. Mm. It's too huge. So so much. Yeah. You know, even the road you are passed you've just passed through. Mm. He initiated it. Even even out of government. And they did it up to this level without turning here. And when he came and saw it, he started laughing. He said, Oh, I've been asked for this road to construct it, and it con they constructed and passed my house. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he said that's nature, you know. So this is where, no, that this is where he's resting. The first grave was dug behind. Mm -hmm. You see? Behind the house? Yes, yeah, behind the house. And the following morning, the family decided to come to this place. And exactly where he was seated was where they located for the uh, grave. Mm -hmm. mm. Was it because it was a spot he spent most of no, his time? No, nobody can tell what went into the thinking of the family to change the place again. Mm. I'm sure he was already telling us where he wanted to be buried. Anytime we arrange the chest this way, he would let us bring it back here. So exactly this place that he, he used to sit to, to, to have meetings, especially with the media. You know, after the uh, Salah festivities, he would engage the media and talk to them about peace, uh, unity, development, and why the media should always be projecting the North instead of uh, bringing out uh, the negative aspects of the North. Uh, he used to talk to them a lot, and centrally, most of them are not nice, and he used to encourage them to, to, to go on that same path. On this day, 18th November 2012, Tamale was ready to receive an illustrious son. Abad, ayuha al-akhwa, hunu ma'i, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. إنا لله وإنا إليه الراجعون إنا لله وإنا إليه الراجعون فجمع 
أفن ما زال تعصيتها دن تزعين هم تم بيا الحاج علي محمد ندمنا ونمور هما الحاج علي محمد نري كل يوات الدنيا لنا وبرضو نبغى تا زي زي نبغى تا ما بني وزوج تونا وني بني وولغون نا وني أدادم كي وني زغ تونا وني ولي زغ ولو كان جنة وني أدارزكي دنيا زغ تونا وني دنيا زغ ولغن نا وني أتوما دنيا زغ تونا وني دنيا زغ ولو كان جنة وني الحاج علي محمد تين يلي يلد بتوه ما زهل زوج تونا دمنا وني Tumi kana guan kana guan shadun palm katukuli ambohalo pumpongo dip wahaki unkam haki dolo kubina nzangali injali kajama abang le kachambolo tu taabu yura alhaji Muhammad Ali kuda faruk wenyobi wao. He was made a chief and besides, he was made a chief. So the chiefs are there to do, to perform their own rights. How they are doing it, it's unclear to us yet. After we talk, well, in terms of the re religious aspect, I mean, the Muslims, they have done their part. That is what the, the prayer they said for him at the Jubilee Park. So, after the body has been, uh, I mean, has been conveyed to the house, uh, it will be left to the burial. His son, Abdul Rahman Mahama, told us about plans to mark the one-year passing of his father. In Accra, the program will start on the 9th. That will be a health walk. On, on the 10th, it will be a Christian prayer throughout the country for him. And then uh, there will be also a uh, at you and then a uh, World All-Star football in his memory. There will be a, a documentary in, in in his memory too. Also, there will be a there will be a, a, a lunch of the foundation. Truly, uh, I will not be able to talk much. Already, it's difficult for me, and uh, there's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. The late Al-Haji Ali Mahama was the CEO of the North Star FM. Sule Salifu is a board member of the station. As a station, uh, we believe as Muslims, the only way of rewarding a dead person is to embark on Quranic recitation. And therefore the station decided to organize that um, 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 competition in his memory. The competition has brought a lot of unity into the Islamic religion. Why am I saying so? If you see um, the mosque over there, that's where the Ambaria people are. Mm. Ali used to pray with the Zamyo mosques, even though once a while he used to go there, the central mosques. But in this competition, majority of the students who are competing and doing very well are coming from the Ambaria mosques. Mm. And you know, Politically, some will align them to the NDC and align the, Zamu, uh, the central mosques to the MPP. I'm saying that the two sides have representation at the, the competition. And I am, I'm, I'm happy to say that even girls, the girls are even extremely doing very well. When you actually look at the way they recite the Quran and answer some of the questions that the Islamic clerics are proposing to them. In fact, on the 16th at North Star FM, the Quranic competition will come to an end. Prizes will be given to you know deserving students, but the station has made it a policy not to abandon any student who has actually uh, participated in it. And uh, after that, the Islamic clerics will actually um, um, say a prayer in his memory. Then we'll disperse from there. Al Haji Abdullahi is an opinion leader in Tamale. He's of the opinion that being patriotic is the best way to honor the memory of the late Al Haji Aliu Mahama. Everybody should emulate the shining example of the late Al Haji Aliu Mahama, who cut across all boundaries, who walked to any house. How are you? I've missed you. 
I've come to see how you are faring. That sort of attitude is what people must adopt. He was not a, a, a Dagomba, he was not a Ga, but he was a pure Ghanaian, a pure Muslim. He exhibited the pride and sense of Muslim, the unity and love of a Muslim. That is how he was, yes. In Yende, because Ali was a traditional man, even though he was very religious, mm -hmm. but he was interested in, you know, uplifting tradition. Mm -hmm. So he used to like a lot of drumming and dancing. In fact, he has a, a, a drama in Yende. Even when was in Accra, he would call him on phone for the man to sing, praise him, and he will, he will, he will, he will be happy. So such people are still in Yende, and the Yende people are saying that they cannot be left out of these uh, mm -hmm. celebrations, and therefore they would also organize uh, drumming and dancing both Gunji and Lunsi, that's the local, you know, dramas in Yendi. They will now move down to Tamale here, where uh, we'll have, like he said, a football match between ATU and War All Stars at the Tamale Sports Stadium uh, in, 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 uh, in his memory. It's very worried, mom, but uh, you know, God created everything and, and everybody has its ends. Actually, we lost a big man and we are not happy for that, but we can also challenge God. For him, he was a brother, a father. Because uh, I don't think if you have a problem and you go to him, he will not solve the problem to you. And he always advise you what is good. So he was a man of God. I want to console his wife and family, and children. And also, as a Muslim, I say, inna dillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'una. Meaning, where we come, that is where we are going. I came, to the, I came from the Almighty, I'll go back to him. Exactly. And just like you enter the market, you only select the best and buy. So we are on this earth to select the best and buy and get to where we are coming from. So, insha Allah, we will buy the best and get back to the Almighty. This is how it is. At age 66, in the glare view of the whole nation, the late former Vice President Al Haji Ali Mahama was lowered into this grave at his private residence here at Kalipohene Estates in Tamale. From all we've heard from people who were closest to him, it is difficult for us to accept that we have lost a dear one whom as far as living on this earth is concerned, we may not see again. All we can say is that may his soul rest in perfect peace.